This will be a all over the place kind of video. That's what she said. It'll be different than our normal stuff. That's what she said. You'll see how I actually function. That's what she said. I don't go in order A, B, C. I go A, number six, C, Z, Y, X. No, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place, but that's how I function and I seem to get stuff done. So if it works, it works, right? <laughs> Guess where is I? Guess where is I? You will not believe my eyes. I got the trailer hooked up. That means I'm going to pick up a car. No, I'm not buying a car. Maybe, I might buy a car later today. And guess what kind of car that is? A Subaru Impreza. No surprise there. Came across a pretty good deal. I'm still contemplating buying it because I'm running out of time before my next big video series. And I'm not sure that I want to get into another quick sale before then. Maybe if I have a buyer before I buy it, then I will do it. But uh, otherwise, I think I might just pass on this and not do any more. I know I said I wasn't going to do any more cars until or at all, but for the time being, I don't want to, but I kind of need, yeah, I, I need a couple extra bucks to buy the, this trailer that I have hooked up to the truck right now. If I don't raise a couple extra bucks, I'm not going to get to buy the trailer. And I need to buy the freaking trailer because look, I use it all the freaking time to tow freaking cars. Freaking A. It's a really nice trailer anyway. So that's what's going on. Okay, but today I'm going to pick up another Subaru Impreza. It's one that we've had in the garage before that I sent off to a new home. The owner of it is having a little bit of a, a problem. He the drive shaft broke on him apparently while the U-joint went out and apparently screwed up the drive shaft. So he pulled over at the nearest auto repair center, which is about six miles away from my house, not far. So I'm gonna go pick it up and he ordered parts from them. When the parts get in, I'm gonna run back over there and pick those up and, well, a new drive shaft, and then I'm gonna slap that in. So that's what's going on today, not a whole lot. I do have some XB parts updates. I also have some stuff coming in for the XB. I also uh, have some funds to order more parts for the XB. So I think I have enough to get the air management kit, which is all we need to finish up the uh, airbag install. So. That's exciting, but if I invest that money into buying another car to sell and possibly make, you know, maybe half of my investment back, then I might have enough to get the parts and this trailer. So that's why, that's the only reason I might get another car to sell. But uh, odds are I probably will not, because that seems like a lot of stress before I start my next video series. And I start that video series at the end of April, so that's, you know, not long from now, just over a month away from that. So I don't know. I will be doing a couple of podcast things coming up in the next couple days. I'm really excited about that. I'm actually gonna get started, finally. It took me so damn long, but I finally am getting started. So that's good news. That's the quick update. I'm not, maybe I will film today. I've never done the drive shaft on one of these Subarus. So what the hell? I'm gonna film today and you're gonna watch me do the drive shaft. So, all right, let's go. Okay, and just like that, this car is back at the toy box garage. Yeah, it's fetching. It's a fetching car. Yeah, the drive shaft's broken, so we're gonna have to climb under there and take the old drive shaft off while we wait for the new drive shaft to arrive. We'll just keep her in here up on jack stands, broken down. That way, when the new one arrives, we just climb under there, slap it in, lower her, and she's good to go. Now doesn't that sound pleasant? We love that sound. All right, she's up on jack stands. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let's see what we have here. 
Well, that does not look particularly good. That looks particularly bad. And as a matter of a fact, it looks like it's been doing that for a while. Wow, that's terrible. It's no wonder he needed a new drive shaft. Look at the damage in here. It's pretty bad. Let's see what else we can see under here. Let me flip you over here. Carrier bearing doesn't look terrible. I'm sure it's not good though. Oh no, it actually feels real good. Let's see what the front looks like here. Oh, that U joint doesn't look terrible either. Yeah, that one doesn't look bad. Looks like got some shit in there, but it's holding on. Oh, look at that. Would you just look at that? Damn, that one was screwed too. Who knows how much longer that would have lasted. That whole case is shot. Dude, what in the shit? That's nuts. Well, looks like our carrier bearing is held up by two bolts right there. They look like 14s. We're gonna have to take this heat shield off, which is a couple 12s, four 12s. Four 12s, damn, this heat shield be bumping. I don't think we'll have to take off the exhaust. I think the exhaust is gonna be okay. All right, let me get started. First thing I'm gonna do is get this heat shield off and I'll get you put up on the tripod so you can watch. We're gonna get the heat shield off first. Then I'll disconnect the drive shaft at that end on the front side. Then I will pull the bolts out that are mounting the carrier bearing in the center and then I'll pull it out the back side. And then the last thing I'll do is get that knuckle that's still on there. I'll take that off last. Worst case scenario, we'll have to lower the exhaust. Anyway, let's let's go. Let's let's do this. Okay, here she is in all her glory and messed up deadness. Yeah, that's not pretty. That is shredded. Looks like we scraped a little bit. Carrier bearing's kind of fried. Up on this end. Yeah, this one wasn't too too bad, other than this part right here. Yeah, that cap is cracked, broken, and partially gone, so that this front U joint was on its way out too. Which makes me question my drive shaft and the orange car's drive shaft. So while I'm here, I'm gonna climb under there and take a look. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna take a quick glance. I have to pull her in tomorrow for some maintenance, an oil change, maybe a tire rotation. And while I have her in, I'll inspect that drive shaft fully and see what the U joints look like and what the carrier bearing looks like. This car, we are on her last leg of repair. We have a whole bunch of parts for her on the way. We've got the LED bulbs. We've got the bumper brackets We've got the fender splash shields. We've got tranny fluid because I lost a little bit. We've got Struts, we've got control arms. We've got a tranny mount. We have rear parking brake shoes She's gonna be up in the air like that because it'll be a couple day repair Well, maybe not maybe we could get it done all in one day at least the suspension stuff so that I can take it all apart at once And reassemble it all at once if that can happen then while it's up in the air I'll climb under there and inspect its drive shaft. Need be, I'll have to buy two damn drive shafts or at least try to find the U joints. I'd rather not replace the U joints, I'd rather just replace the whole drive shaft because this was easy and doing those U joints is not going to be easy. You know, if I have to, I will. That's the drive shaft out. When the new drive shaft arrives, we'll run down there and pick her up, slam it in, get this car out of here. While I'm sitting here waiting for the new drive shaft to show up so I can go pick it up, I decided to take apart my hitch plug, my trailer plug wiring hitch plug. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago, I backed up into a tongue of a trailer with it. It hit the wiring box and it kind of bent the bracket and broke a couple of the mounting bolts. Well, those some of those mounting bolts are, it was holding on by one and that last one just broke from old frailty. So I'm gonna get some bolts and get some spacers and remount it to the bracket with some washers. Also, I'm having an issue where when I plug the seven pin plug in, the black wire is not, I have to wiggle it to get it to work and that turns the lights on on the trailer. And I know it's not a ground. I'm thinking it's a power or something, but anyway, anyway, I have to climb in there. I have to take it apart and see if it's broken connection or what's going on and solder it back together, or whatever, so that the trailer will always work. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here we go, let's time lapse. Go, real quick. I was trying to pull these apart the correct way and all of them snapped except this last one. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I use some stainless this time. Here we go. The other night at the party, you made me all so sad. We're some kissing my best friend. We're some kissing my dad. Spilled my beer. Spilled my sitting on here crooked a little bit. Oh, 
we go. Okay. Good. Okay, so you saw that she's all done. That's good. Now I'm just still waiting on the drive shaft. No word on that yet But I think in the meantime while I'm waiting I'm gonna climb under the truck and do an oil change since I have to do that tomorrow Anyway, it'll save me a little time tomorrow and I have the time right now anyways So that's a good thing I'm not gonna film it because you've already seen that and that'll just be a boring ass video You know how to do an oil change. Don't don't be acting like you don't know how to do an oil change looking at me like that I'm just gonna get under there and do an oil change real quick and it's a great way to stay in shape so I'm, while i'm under there i'm also going to check all my u-joints i replaced quite a few of them on the drive shaft i think i replaced all of them on the drive shaft as a matter of fact and i greased them all last year but it's about time to give them another greasing so real quick i wanted to show you the latest goodie i got for the xb you ready for this here we go check it out this is a brutal sounds 5.1 5000 watt amp single channel one ohm stable beast of an amp. Pretty cool, huh? I also have a couple subwoofers on the way that I got to go along with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these two subwoofers. I may be purchasing an even bigger audio system. A couple 8,000 watt amps, 8Ks with 415s. And I sure as shit know that they, none of that's going to fit in any of my cars. I mean, if I want to build a wall in the Subi or I want to build a wall in the XB, but I'm not a big fan of losing my back seat. And I know that if I build a wall in any of these vehicles, I'm going to lose my back seat. I don't even like losing the back seat in the truck. Something I could do that I don't know I kind of like and I kind of don't like is put a camper back on the truck I had a camper on the truck a long time ago so I could put a camper back on the truck if I do that then it's not such a big loss you know losing out on the back seat also I don't know if I want to do the camper I kind of want to do a bed cover but a wall in the back of the XB would be cool I want really to put a wall in the back in just this section behind the back seat and I know that the 15s that I'm looking at are they need quite a bit more airspace than what that has to offer now I've been looking at shallow mount kicker subs and before you say anything i know they're cheap subs i know they're not competition and they're not crazy amazing but i think a wall of shallow kickers behind the back seat of the xb would be awesome also a wall of shallow kickers behind the toyota seats would be awesome like six twelves in a wall behind the front seats of the toyota that'd be amazing even a half wall with three twelves would be amazing and in the, in the xb i could probably fit six twelves and three tens that would be amazing and i certainly have something that'll power them now so but then what am I going to do with all these 15s that I got? I would love to have a vehicle with 15s in it. Now, that being said, I don't know if I'm going to buy the other four 15s. Anyway, car audio is a big thing for me. Maybe I'll just buy a beater-ass car that I can build a crazy-ass system in and maybe do some competitions. Maybe we'll some, win some money off of it. Yeah, right. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to call that shop and see if the drive shafts arrive. Not going to believe this, but it's 5 o'clock. This guy's drive shaft still hasn't showed up, so... Pretty much this is how the car's gonna sit in my garage until tomorrow, I guess. And I got proactive, went ahead and changed the oil on that, changed the oil on that, changed the oil on that, inspected everything underneath, and it looks okay. So I guess I'll come at you tomorrow when the part shows up for this, the drive shaft, and we'll get that put in. So I'll see you in the morning. Spill my Good morning everybody. So it's the next morning and we're in the truck. We are actually headed somewhere pretty cool. Uh, I gotta make a quick run to go pick up my rims. So the rims that my buddy was working on for me, he finally finished them. Basically a restore on them. You saw in the past video, I'll go ahead and link it up here. Go ahead and uh, click on that if you want to see. But the rims I'm speaking of were in a past video. You saw that they had, they're the XL BB7 uh, white rims. Uh, 17s that are gonna go on the Subi. Those rims you saw were scuffed up, they were curb rashed, they had a pretty massive nasty dent in them, and they were honestly too ugly to be putting on my car. Plus that curb, that dent in them would have really concerned me with leaking air out of the bead. I met somebody who could fix them. This gentleman got these rims looking damn near brand new. It was a lot of work for the poor guy and I really appreciate it. Long story short, it's been a couple months. He texted me this morning and let me know that they are done, they are ready to be picked up. That's where we're on our way to this morning. Hopefully, after I pick the rims up and on my way home, the drive shaft from my buddy Subaru will be ready to be picked up. That will be epic. And amazing. I also have a UPS delivery coming today. Hopefully I get back before the UPS driver. I've kind of already hinted at what's coming, but when it gets here, it's gonna be really cool to, to actually see them in person. It's a great way to stay in shape, and I don't want you to worry about what I'm doing, Eric. Just come along and watch and enjoy yourself. Sit back, 
relax, and let's get some shit done today, okay? All right, we got them. We picked them up. They're looking good. That's all you get right now. I'll give you a little up closer view when we get back to the house. Also, I wanted to show you. Look where is me. Look where is me. In the truck that is taken over by King Nebuchadnezzar in 1999. And this is the speaker that King Nebuchadnezzar used to bump. How many of you guys recognize that speaker? That's the jail we just fixed in this video right here. Let's see how it sounds. How about that? Sweet bitch. Oh. To the 444. What are we thinking about that? How do we like that? I think that sounds fantastic. So overall, I guess I did a pretty good job. Now at low volume, I'm gonna be honest, there is a little bit of a buzz. So it's slightly off center, very, very slightly off center at, at low volume at rest. But once you start bumping it, it centers itself perfectly and strains out and bumps fantastically. So I think we'll call that one a win. The next thing we're focusing on after I get this orange car done and get the next video series, which I don't know, it's gonna be somewhere between like five and 15 videos. It's gonna be a long series. We'll see, it's gonna be a really cool video series. I'm not even gonna start to tell you what, what's, what it's all about, but it's gonna be ep So once the orange car is done, the epic video series is done, then we're gonna start on the XB, which is gonna be epic by its own rights. That series, based on just the parts that I'm getting, it's gonna be a real long series. It's gonna be huge. We're gonna do lots of little projects in there. We're gonna strip it down to a bare shell and we're gonna just go to freaking town on it. So that being said, buckle up, sit tight. And I hope this that these videos that I make and these video series that I put out helps our channel grow. Cause like I said, when we reach a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway and I'm gonna give something cool away. It's not gonna be some cheapo giveaway. Anyway, we're just getting back home. The drive shaft for the homie's car is still not in, unfortunately. I'm to the point that I can't have the car taking up my garage another day. If it doesn't arrive by noon, maybe one o'clock, I'm gonna just shove the old drive shaft back in it and drive it outside for the time being. Then it's gonna have to just sit outside. That's that's the only thing I can do. All right, back home in the toy box garage. Let's take a look at these rims. How about that? Oh, look at that white and that gloss though. That gloss. Now, there is still a little imperfections. This was the bent rim. And you can still slightly see the bend right there. But it is nowhere near as bent as it was. If you look on the back side, it's only got a slight little dip now, whereas before it was curved way up here. So I cannot complain that, you know, he did a good job. Do you remember the curve rash on all of these? Well, guess what? Curve rash is gone. There are still a couple little imperfections. He told me about them. I'm not concerned with that. Like I told him, these are going to go on my Subaru, which is my commuter car. Odds are they're going to get rock chips and all kinds of stuff on my travels to work. They don't need to be perfect by any means. If you look at them, they're pretty close. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. So now I just need to get some tires mounted on them and get them balanced. Put them on the car, align the car, and she'll look a little bit better. Heck yeah. My garage is still taken up by this car. Like I said, if the party isn't here by 12 30, 1 o'clock, maybe a little later, I'm just gonna have to slap this bad boy back in there so I can back it out of the garage and park it outside. It's gonna sit there until I have some more time to work on it and we come across a, the parts. Now, if you recall, you guys missed it because my camera died, but I wired this Toyota standard wiring harness into it, not knowing that the JBL amplified system from that 2002 Celica required a different one. I got the different harness. So we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna rewire it with the new harness. Let's do that real quick. And now you guys can actually see it. It was my favorite flavor. Sitting in that car. So you came along. Spilled every last drop. Spilled my beer. Spilled my beer. Okay, so I decided to film something else. You remember a while back when I did the house LED bulbs and swapped everything for the 5000K daylight bulbs? Yeah, and remember I didn't have enough bulbs to do everything because I didn't order the standard E26 bulbs? Check it out. That, that one I swapped already, but these I didn't. See? Well, boom, got bulbs. Let's swap them out and see what that looks like. See the difference? 
Yeah, we like that. Beautiful. So there, now you see it matches much better. It's way brighter in here. We love it. Okay, let's go do the rest of them. Just realized I forgot about these again, so I'm gonna have to get my ladder out. We'll do those first. I right, got everything swapped out. Let's take a look at how this stuff all looks, shall we? Oh yeah, much better. Let's see how this room looks. Oh yeah, beautiful. Look at them puppies. This is Kitty. Her name was Susie. That's little Duke as a baby, as a young lad, enjoying some sun. Kitty again, little Kitty. That's Sarah and Daisy. That's Minky. That's Sarah with the first Lucky as a young buck, and she's a young lady. Well, she's still a young lady, but there you go. There's that. All right, let's see how this room looks. Yeah. That's what's up. I'm still waiting on the bulbs for this room. I ordered the two of those. The only other bulb in the house that I can think of that we haven't swapped for a 5,000K yet in ye old pantry. We got that bad boy. And that one is different from all of the ones we've got. That's that. We changed out some bulbs. We did something today. Just got word that the drive shaft will be at that guy's shop in 40 minutes. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and drive down there, pick that up, get these puppies fed, and we're going to dinner at the grandparents' house tonight. So that'll be good. Just got back from picking up the drive shaft. Let's take a look at her. Well, it's a complete drive shaft. It's pretty free moving. Yeah, that feels real good. The carrier bearing. Let's see that back here. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Look at that. Ugh. This U joint is not great. It's not gonna last long. <laughs> that sucks. That really, really sucks. Oh man. Okay, well, nothing we could do now. Got to get it back together. He's got to get back on the road. So I'm going to just tell him he needs to buy another one of these U-joints. And we're going to have to put that together. I WD-40'd the shit out of it. But it's still... It loosened up this way. But this way is still really, really tight. That's not good. It's not going to last, mark my words. But like I said, I have no choice needs this car and I need my garage so I'm gonna get in here and put it back together now. You know there's a party crasher Cause you run everything But that night you really fucked up When you spilled my drink But I'm not gonna spill your beer You spilled my beer It's done. I'm gonna drive it out of here now. I'll call him and tell him to come get it. My package still hasn't arrived. End of the day. I'm in my lifestyles of the rich and famous robe. Let, let's end this day on a positive note. Let's end this the right way. Check this out. Ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Boom. What you think about that? These are resilient sounds. 15 inch subwoofers. This is the gold series 15 inch sub. It is dual voice coil, two ohm, 1000 watts RMS. Now, this came from down south near the coast, so that's why you got all this rust. Good thing is now it's in the desert, it won't continue to rust. We do have a little bit of rust on the hardware in here, but these things are gonna bounce. They have good movement on them. They're used, but they're only slightly used. But yeah, they have good resistance still. They have good flex. No scratchy voice coils. I am thrilled to be their new owner. So these were purchased from and shipped to me by the homie Terry Thomas out in Mobile, Alabama. Listen, roll tight. We might slap those in the XB with the Brutal Sounds amp. If I can figure out how to make a box that will fit back here that won't require me to lose my back seat because that's non-negotiable for me. I want four comfortable seats and a huge system. So, and I'll make it happen. 
deal with it. Bet I'll make it happen. This is where I'm gonna end the video. This has been a long one that led to nowhere. So thank you for watching if you got through it. If not, I don't blame you. I understand 100%. That's totally what she said. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for smashing that thumbs up button. If you liked the video, thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you for commenting so we can get a conversation going. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Click the subscribe button down below there and click that bell next to it to get notified every time I drop a video. If not, that's cool too. And this is the Master of None signing out of the Toy Box Garage. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.